We did some shows in um, at the end of 1993. Uh, me and Steven arranged this. Uh, we're trying to like create a scene in New York because there wasn't much happening at the time. Sure. Uh, the Grand Club. We had a, a Monday nights at the Grand. Glam, trash, punk. Michael Monroe and friends. Uh, we had this uh, evening of uh, showing uh, a, b a bunch of videos uh, on uh, like uh, till about midnight. We had videos of like. It, MC5, again, the Stooges, Alice Cooper Band, the Ramones, the Dead Boys, the Dam, Sex Crystal, sure. Class, Mutt the Hoople Faces, uh, you, know, you know, that kind of stuff. And then midnight, mm -hmm. we hit the stage with the band and we played, you know, our favorite punk covers. And uh, we always had a guest, uh, uh, every, every night was a surprise guest. First night, we had Joy Ramone come up and we played three songs of the Ramones. I think it was Blitzkrieg Bop, the uh, Wanna Be Sedated, and she is a punk rocker. We had Ian Hunter come up one night. We did uh, Once Bitten, Twice Shy, and uh, uh, probably Martha Hoople stuff, uh, uh, Roll Away the Stone, and all the young dudes, of course. And then, uh, you know, Corey Clark would come up. Sebastian Bach was there many on Mondays. Sure. Let's do some Hanoi, dude. Come on, dude. Let's do some Hanoi. <laughs> and then uh, Walter Liu from the Harp, from Johnny Thunder's Heartbreakers, and, um, you know, a bunch of people like that. And uh, it was, we kept it going for 10 consecutive weeks uh, and the monday nights were the hottest toughest ones uh, of course in the in of the week to have people come out to a club but we kept that going and then the band was uh established as you know michael monroe and friends and then we went to the studio to do uh, three demos of uh the songs uh Hem hemisphere palais and uh, dysfunctional and uh uh the third one was the scum lives on and then we went into the studio yeah and then we went into the studio at the end of the year in 93 and uh, <laughs> I recorded the album in about in a couple of weeks. It was done. It was, we recorded the basic tracks in three days. I sang it in wow. two days. And <laughs> the production in the uh, I could trust little Stephen being the producer uh, in the capable hands of little Stephen. Uh, I had no worries. It's the best, most fun time I had recording an album. But you know, I did a vocal take. He said, "Okay, do another one." He says, "Okay, that's good. Next one." And I, so right. it went really smoothly. And uh, <clears throat> I remember Jimmy Clark said. He had his the, the snare drum. The skin was busted. It says, "Hey, wait a minute, Stephen. I have. I got to change the snare skin." It says, "Don't touch it. It's great. Leave it as it is." <laughs> so he played the whole rest of the album with the with the busted snare snare uh, skin. Uh, yeah, and then, then we mixed the album like one song per day. So in a couple of weeks, the album was done. And uh, wow. Uh, so uh, yeah, we did everything right with this album that I had done that went wrong with uh, my last project with Polygram, which was uh, the um jerusalem slim uh ill-fated jerusalem slim fiasco with steve stevens and michael wagner producing um, steve stevens get, playing guitar and i ended up costing close to a million and uh it was my deal so i was like it just turned turning to uh turning turned to crap and um uh, i had to uh, get off the label because i owed them so much money that that was ridiculous so uh then was 23 uh i mean i always prided in making great albums, uncompromising, good quality records. So this was, this, uh, Jerusalem Slam was like a big, was a black mark in my on my career. I'm thinking that in, in my career, I hadn't uh, always prided in making great records. Uh, they released the album, which is the worst thing. But what are you gonna do? Therefore, I waited about a year till they dropped me and then I called Steven, hey, I'm free. Now we can make the record. <laughs> <laughs> now we can make the record that I wanted to make. Just, uh, you know, the, the label wouldn't, they wouldn't let, let Stephen produce. Uh, if Stephen would have been the producer of the Jerusalem Slim project, then it would have been fine. 